Well, Steve, thanks for taking a couple minutes to chat with me about all things political and economic. Uh, you've written recently that uh, that California is the pickpocket state. What did you mean by that when you said California was a pickpocket state? Well, uh, overspending, uh, thinking that uh, the golden calf was going to last forever. Uh, they find ever more new ways to try to uh, raise taxes and raise fees. Uh, it's amazing that the governor has now got a referendum on the ballot to raise the top income tax rate from 10 percent and change to 13 percent and other exactions. And uh, that's just going to uh, do to the state what it's done to Stockton and some other places in California. Will these policies drive more companies out of the state? Most businesses, if they could relocate, would relocate. Uh, they've made that very clear. They don't feel the state is hospitable to them at all. And uh, so you have uh, out migration from California for the first time since uh, the gold rush in the 1840s. So I think that uh, tells you. And uh, we'll see if the state wakes up and uh, throws these referendums out. If they do, uh, hopefully Jerry Brown will do uh, this time what he did in 1978 after Prop 13 passed in the primary. Suddenly he became Mr. Mr. Fiscal Conservative. He ran for president on a balanced budget amendment. So maybe he will uh, try to do what Scott Walker did and Chris Christie did, go to his allies and say, I tried, now we got to change. Do you have any words of wisdom you'd impart on Governor Brown? Uh, change and be a hero and leave uh, as the man who saved the golden state. Preserve the gold in the golden state. Now you mentioned uh, municipal bankruptcies like Stockton. Now we saw San Bernardino and you know I've written about LA being on the verge of bankruptcy. Um, what do you think the biggest challenge is to, I mean, the bottom line of all of these municipalities is in, in terms of how, how do we fix it? Well, uh, unfortunately it's going to mean uh, very painful negotiations on uh, how you redo uh, the promises made to uh, city workers. And uh, the biggest killers are not so much the cash salaries, although there have been some cases of abuses there. It's the bennies. It's the benefits. Uh, pensions have not been uh, properly funded. Health care uh, manifestly not properly funded. I think there are some ways that can ease the uh, adjustment. For example, health savings accounts for retirees. Uh, you have, a, in effect, a high deductible. You know, you weren't supposed to do that, but have it. But uh, then you get good coverage above that deductible. They might say, well, under the circumstances, uh, let's take it and run. Now, Dr. Laffer is pushing, uh, he has a new book, How to Fix California. And he says that one of the ways you got to fix California is by completely redoing the tax code and moving to more of an income tax based model. Uh, would, would that be something you'd recommend in California? Do you think it would work? Well, uh, Art Laffer, I think, is in favor of the flat tax. Yeah. And uh, doing that in California uh, overnight, turning it from a hostile state with uh, very unstable finances, always counting on capital gains and then spending as if capital gains go on forever uh, to an another system would be a very sound one. And uh, another reform after you get that one done is to have realistic assumptions on pensions. Uh, we all know what happened uh, 12 years ago uh, in terms of assumptions. Those assumptions held true. Uh, the Dow Jones, I think, would be about 35 or 40,000 today.